out and she joins us now from Melbourne. Maddie, what did you learn? Hey JV and Rach, um, a lot. <laughs> I didn't know anything about renewables before I went. Um, I sat down with Isaac Harrison, the, one of the owners of um, Bunjil Energy here in Melbourne, and um, he talked a lot about renewables, so I thought let's go out to a community and see how they're actually working. Um, so I chose the community of Nayu, which is in the Northern Territory, um, next to Daly River. Um, and it seems to be doing solar, sorry, and it seems to be working really well for them. Um, so let's have a look. Australia is known as the sunburnt country, and the sun is one of our greatest resources. It's why many people are considering alternatives to gas and oil. Melbourne entrepreneur and Cubby Cubby man Isaac Harrison is one of them. He says solar power is one of the best ways forward for remote communities. I saw an opportunity with the Indigenous procurement policy on the federal level. Um, we haven't won anything under the Indigenous procurement policy, but it was a real door opener and opportunity uh, to go and meet large corporates, federal and state government, and share our story and our vision, which is employing more Indigenous people in renewable energy through apprenticeships or traineeships. Bunjil Energy is one of Australia's first Indigenous-owned companies, helping businesses and communities make the switch to renewable energy. So. We do a slow transition into removing um, coal generators um, and replacing them with renewable options. And if you look at all the multinational companies that are moving to Australia in the renewable space, you'll see a lot of experts coming in because they've identified Australia as being one of those prime locations to really take off from renewables. Up north, closer to the equator, where the sun is more intense and the communities are more remote, solar can be a great option. The Northern Territory community of Nayu, located a few kilometres from popular fishing destination Daly River, is leading the way thanks to Power and Water Corporation. The Solar Energy Transformation Program is a four-year program uh, being run by the 